just let's see. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, so actually the word that was coming to me as I was thinking about teaching tonight was tenderness, the same word, Mary Jane, <laughs> that he shared. And um, I was just considering, I mean, we just came off a holiday, especially for those of us in the States, and um, just kind of the vulnerability of being human and sort of navigating the the beauty and the mess of life. And I was just at a, a gathering with um, my sister and some of her friends and, and it was sweet how it was, the gathering was supposed to be out about one thing, but ended up that the people really shared just from their hearts about what they were struggling with and going through and, and meeting and encountering in their lives. And um, it was su such a human moment, you know, especially for those of us who are on these digital platforms and you kind of see one, one side of things. And so I was thinking to do a, a soft meditation. That's what came to me. I'd like to do a meditation on softness and to somehow be able to really look at welcoming the fullness of our experience, both if there are challenges or things that we're considering work-wise that's in the room here or, um, if there's sort of a tiredness from the day, wherever it is that you are, you can come to this practice and just know you're free to fall asleep. You're free to follow with along with all of the words. This is meditation and it's meditation uh, free of agenda. And it's sort of ironic because we do also uh, have an intention at the beginning that we set, but then we just cruise into the meditation and actually see what happens. And so, um, I'd like to set us up for this by, you know, perhaps you can reflect inwardly of any any kind of tenderness or vulnerability, good or bad, that you may feel, and then also just any resilience or strength that you may also feel, because they're both often here. One might be centered more than another sometimes. I just wanted to do a soft meditation where we're kind of welcoming the whole human experience and ourselves just as we are. And um, so when we when we set up for the meditation, if you can, you can set up in the most comfortable position you'd like. For you, this could be on the floor on a mat. Uh, you could be lying on a bed or a couch, but it's somewhere that you feel completely supported to to rest and relax for about you know thirty to forty minutes. And when we finish the practice, then uh, we'll come back and have a little bit of dialogue. So if we're all good from here, um, normally what happens, so you can feel free to, most people turn off their cameras. Um, if you'd like to do that, if you'd like to leave your camera on, that's fine as well. Um, and then we'll just start to set up. Feel free to just start setting up for the practice. Um, and... Yeah, as you do so, kind of surprise yourself where maybe you have something really typical, some typical yoga nidra set up, but maybe change it up a little bit or for instance, that could be elevating your feet. Um, that could be using a pillow if you don't normally or having a blanket right next to you or something soft. Um but you know, feel free to just get into the into the practice so you can lie down in the meditation. And if at any point during the practice you want to change positions or you know, this is this is all um in your court. So feel free to sit if you'd prefer to do that, or feel free to um just let my voice be in the background as you do your own inquiry. This is this is truly open here. All right, we'll see what this soft meditation is <laughs> idea that I had here. <laughs> and um, yeah, so as you're settling in, just let yourself get comfortable and perhaps whatever it was that you shared as you arrived into this moment you know, taking a moment to reflect on that and feeling where you've just come from, uh, whether it was work, the store, um, and, and just allow yourself to give that some attention and then let that go and 
as you're lying here, perhaps feeling the entire backside of your body. And take some uh, breaths in and out. So in the yoga nidra practice, we're, we're welcoming what arises in our experience with the quality of tenderness, of care, including if what's arising in our experience is a vulnerability or tenderness. So often we want to um, get past that to a different state, but there's gold in there when we can really slow down and pause with our own vulnerability, tenderness, the uh, as I sometimes say, the beauty and the mess of being human and that that looks different for each of us. You never know what another person is experiencing. So let's begin the meditation. Let's begin with a body scan. So taking an inhale to the crown of the head and then following the exhale all the way down to the soles of the feet. But a few times at your own pace, just sort of sweeping the body with your breath, noticing whatever it is that's present and welcoming yourself into the practice. And we've been, we begin the practice with setting an intention. So is there... Uh, something that comes to you that's an intention for this practice. It may just be to see what it's like, to follow along and see what happens. It may be to rest deeply or to meet a vulnerability or a restlessness, whatever is here. And then open the senses so that you're not necessarily grasping with the senses. This means inviting a relaxation into the whole body so that your sense of touch, not needing to grasp, you're just allowing your body to relax into the surface that supports you. And... At the same time, just sort of opening the, the ears to sound. So feeling the sound of my voice as that comes to you, the sound of your own breathing, any other sounds in the room. And sight, if your eyes are closed, can you see any light, shapes, color across the eyelids? sense of smell, the sense of taste. So the senses are open and relaxed. Body naturally breathing in its own way. And we'll do that sweep again. So inhaling to the crown of the head and then exhaling, soles of the feet. And do that two more times at your own pace as you just arrive into the meditation, letting the day begin to fade into the background. So full permission here, if you fall asleep, if you stay awake, we're, we're inviting a state of deeper rest into the body and mind. So let's begin with a body scan. So I'll name a body part and simply notice what you experience when you bring attention there. And can you have a kindness or gentleness, like a softness to your noticing? So less like a spotlight of attention on the body part, 
and more like a warmth of presence. We just try that this evening. So beginning with the jaw and ending in the soles of the feet. So sense the jaw, notice if there's any tension or holding in the jaw and the mouth. You may invite the subtle muscles of the cheeks and face and throat to begin to relax and release tension. And sensing your ears, your left ear first. Noticing just the sensation you experience and then your right ear. And then both ears at the same time. So let go of thinking and just sense both ears simultaneously. Again, allowing your attention to be soft your presence to be soft. Feeling the flow of breath as it comes in and out of the nose or the mouth. And then sense the eyes. So can you sense behind your left eye? Notice if there's any kind of leftover tension from the day from looking at screens or anything else. Can you allow that to soften? And then bring attention to the right eye behind the right eye. Same, just inviting a release of tension or holding. As you do this now, sense both eyes at the same time. This is where you let go of thinking and get more into the body sense, the body sensing like behind both eyes. So you may sort of visualize behind your eyes and then let go of the visualization. Just sensing what's there. Breath coming and going. As you breathe in, noticing attention flowing to behind the eyes, and as you breathe out, now let your attention go all the way to the back of your head and the back of your neck. Perhaps as you place attention on the back of the neck, the subtle holding just begins to release and relax. So we're not trying to force relaxation, but by meeting tension, giving a warm, soft attention to it, and then just inviting a release. We'll sense now the entire left arm. So take an inhale, Attention goes to the left shoulder. And then exhale all the way down the left arm to the palm of the left hand. Breathing in and out, sensing the palm of the left hand and the entire left arm. Just notice what you come upon. If thoughts are sort of intruding from the day just gently reorient attention back to the left arm, left hand, warmth. Bring your attention now to your right shoulder. Inhale. Exhaling all the way down your right arm to the palm of the right hand. So just now as the breath comes and goes, can you place your attention entirely in your right arm and the palm of your right hand? You may feel like a tingly sensation or a warmth or a numbness, whatever's here. Now 
Now bring attention to the palms of both hands at the same time. Breathing in and out. You may feel like a radiance in the palms of both hands. And then inhale, allow your attention to draw to both shoulders. Exhaling down both arms into the palms of both hands at the same time. It's as if you only have two arms and hands and all of your attention is focused there. You have a warmth, softness, Letting your nervous system begin to downregulate from the day. Bringing attention now to the belly and how it may rise and fall with the breath in and out. Or perhaps you notice that somewhere else in your body. So have the felt sense of the breath and an exploration of your whole torso your whole back, chest, and belly. You may feel your heart beating or notice what's present in your belly if there's any tension or spaciousness. If you do notice any tension, can you bring a soft attention to that? In doing so, it may spontaneously release and relax. There's an unconscious holding that can happen. So bringing that light of awareness to these body parts can allow this spaciousness and a softness to arise. Bringing attention to your left hip with an inhalation Exhale all the way down the left leg, past the knee, ankle, to the sole of the left foot. So you're breathing in and out, sensing left leg, left foot. Can you feel the quality of your attention and allow it to be soft and a caring attention as you notice what's present with your left leg, your left foot, the sensations in your body. Bringing attention now to your right hip, taking an inhale. Exhaling all the way down your right leg, past your knee, ankle, to the sole of your right foot. So it's allowing yourself to do this. It's like an attention training where you just bring the attention back to your right leg and foot if the mind comes in. Breathing in and out, you may find your body just shifting into states of sleep and back out. That's absolutely fine. And now both at the same time. Can you sense your whole left leg, your whole right leg, both together as you breathe in, breathe out. Noticing any difference in sensation, but feeling them both simultaneously. Welcoming now the whole body into awareness, legs and feet, whole torso, arms and hands, head, just noticing your face and the whole front side of your body as well, throat, chest, belly, whole back side of your body. Just breathe in and out here. So we're without agenda, just meeting sensations moment to moment, just resting here as you breathe in and out. 
your whole body welcome into your awareness. And if it feels right, can you explore a quality of softness or holding? You may feel this as a full body kind of radiance or kind of tingling aliveness. It may be something else in your experience. Letting yourself rest in the body. It's like your attention is resting on the breath and the body. The mind can sort of take a break. Breathing here. And is there any quality of tenderness or vulnerability that may be present for you as I ask that you know let yourself just inquire internally is there any vulnerability tenderness that's here that I could turn toward and meet with softness So if something comes to you, maybe an image or a felt sense, could you turn toward that and simply encounter it as it is, drawing near? If that isn't present in your experience, then just noticing what is present and drawing near to that. As you do so, what do you notice with this tenderness, this, perhaps an, it's an emotion? Just the act of simply allowing it to be just as it is, whatever's here in your experience emotionally. Bringing a quality of softness to it that may perhaps be unusual for you and how you encounter yourself. If so, notice what that's like. As you do so, perhaps feeling the whole backside of your body as it rests on the surface that's really supporting you and could you feel the softness of that support? as a somatic equivalent to the feeling of that kind of softness or tenderness toward your experience. You may have a different experience, like a, a spaciousness of presence or a vastness from which you're meeting your experience. If so, just resting as that, as you notice your body breathing feeling the global body sensations and any emotions that are present. So sense now the space in the body. This is perhaps you have a mental image of the body and sensing space in the body. And then sense through the supposed borders of the body out into the space around you. Could you feel both simultaneously like this vastness or spaciousness that is your felt experience
And notice it may have quality of being aware, clear, awake. Even if the body is going in and out of states of rest, So we rest as this spacious awareness and continue to meet whatever it is that's arising. So again, turning toward body, emotions, perhaps any images of yourself when you have had a vulnerable moment. An image of yourself perhaps when you've had a resilient moment, so feeling that whole spectrum of your experience, welcoming that in, noticing any images or memories. And just move into the next part of the meditation where we're just inquiring, doing this self-inquiry. What question am I holding right now I'd like to explore? Just notice if there is a question you're holding for your life or for your meditation that you like to explore in this moment as a somatic felt sense. Maybe a question like, what is it like to rest in this quality of softness, just breathing, no agenda, not needing to be somewhere or show up and do something, be someone, but just a deep rest that's here. It could be something else. So whatever is present, could you bring that gentleness to the inquiry where you're meeting your experience moment to moment? What's it like to allow yourself that level of rest? There's no agenda. Just being here. Mind may come in and if so, gently reorient attention back to the body breathing. Perhaps to the entire backside of the body as it's resting on the surface that's supporting you. If that exploration with the, the spacious awareness felt resonant, perhaps coming back to that, feeling your breath coming and going, all within this kind of vast context of spacious awareness, emotions arising within that vast context Explore the body. Notice if there are any particular places of tension or contraction that in simply bringing the soft, kind attention to, it may spontaneously release. It may be correlated with a thought or a belief or an emotion or just a body holding. So as you breathe in and out, scan the body
And just relax into these places of tension or holding if you come upon them. Otherwise, simply resting as this quality of awareness. Non-separate from the world around you. Sensing now the entire left side of your body, left leg, arm and hand, left side of your face, torso, head. Breathing in and out, sensing the whole left side of your body. Feeling a soft attention. Now allow your attention to slowly cross the midline of your body to the right side, right leg and foot, right arm and hand, right side of your face and head, torso. And then breathe in and out, sensing the whole right side of your body. And we'll go back and forth with the breath. So on your next breath, shifting attention across the midline to the left side and breathe in and out there for a few rounds when it feels right. Allow your attention to shift back across the midline of the body to the right side. So this letting go of visualization, but moving with the felt sense to the whole right side of the body, breathing in and out. So follow your own pace here, breathing in and out and shifting attention from one side to the other side. You may find your eyes slightly shift back and forth. That's fine. Just sensing first one side of the body, breathing in and out, and then the opposite. So going back and forth at your own pace. As you do this, you may also welcome any flows or moments of tenderness or vulnerability that may appear to you as you shift attention from side to side. An image or memory may come, or just a felt sense, or another emotion, whatever is present, we're just opening to that vulnerability, the tenderness that may be present underneath perhaps another emotion. But if any images or memories do come, can you simply notice them as you continue to do that practice, breathing in and out, sensing one side, shifting over, sensing the other. A really welcoming experience just as it is. being with any images or memories of that vulnerability may also just begin to turn into images or memories of resilience, of strength, of, of dignity, feeling your own kind of human spirit and the capacity that you have. So as you continue to do the practice, breathing in one side and then the other, 
Welcoming images of resilience, the strength of your spirit, the, the human dignity that you carry. Just back and forth, noticing whatever it is that arises in your experience. How can you hold both? So sensing both sides of the body simultaneously and breathing in and out, welcoming any movements of tenderness and of resilience, of vulnerability and of strength. Images or memories may be here or the felt sense of both simultaneously really holding the whole of your life in this moment. Kind of the beauty and the mess and all of it, just all being held, breathing in and out, sensing the whole body at once and the space around the body. And then just embodying that quality of spacious openness or spacious awareness. Not needing to focus on any one body part or the breath, but just resting here as this quality of awareness itself, this clarity, spaciousness, luminosity, whatever is here you may name inwardly. Non-separateness. Perhaps a deep rest or relaxation in the body. And checking back in with your intention, just noticing how is that now? If you leave a moment of space for your psyche and you just ask, is there something that's important to be acknowledged inwardly right now? Something important to be seen or known or felt. Just notice if anything arises in your mind's eye or in your firsthand experience of the body. Is there anything that would like to be welcomed in further to a quality of intimacy with your experience? Just notice what appears to you. Perhaps sensing that paradox of this quality of awake awareness that's here and also the intimacy of, of meeting the 10,000 things, all of the stuff of life. And that you could do so from a place of a relaxed body and mind isn't needing to maintain control or be the doer. There's like a quality of receptivity that you can embody in the meditation practice here that we're doing in this practice, like a softness and like a willingness to meet what arises in experience moment to moment.
Before we close, perhaps imagining yourself going about the rest of the evening into the day tomorrow and through the day tomorrow, carrying this quality of soft, kind awareness. No matter what you're very busy engaged in doing or um, very slow in doing, can you feel this soft awareness that's here? Just imagining yourself through the rest of your evening into tomorrow, through the day, resting back into that without needing to overly control or do, but just letting the doing kind of happens naturally through you. We'll close the practice here but let yourself rest for a few moments before uh, we come back. So really going slowly, not wanting to rush anything, just letting yourself be still just where you are, perhaps remaining in the meditation. And then perhaps your body may just naturally begin to move. So just hands and feet you may stretch, perhaps bringing your knees in toward your chest, um, just really at your own pace, perhaps rolling off to one side and then resting there. building these moments of rest even into the meditation where each transition point is an opportunity to uh, let go again. And then when it feels right, just we'll, we'll close the practice here and feel free to gently you know, come back at your own pace and we'll have a little bit of time for reflections. But just really taking this at your own pace, there's no rush here.